This section provides the foundation of all our practice. It sets out some of the key ideas uh, behind the what constitutes good practice. It's there to support us turning our good intentions into good practice that support our clients. And within it, there are three approaches to ethics. There are values, which if you like, are, are an expression of our good intention in general terms. There are principles where we convert those good intentions into actions and they combine a statement of value with an action. And there are also the personal moral qualities, which are those aspects of ourselves to which we aspire and hope we can deliver to our clients. We may net, we may net, they're a vision of how we want to be with our clients. And each section spells out some of the aspects of those different approaches to ethics. And the ways in which the section can be used by practitioners vary, but I have heard some very successful experiences of people who've used this section in the context of supervision or as an opportunity to step back from a tricky issue in practice and to think through what are its ethical implications and particularly um, just trying to go back to basics and think what are the principles at stake here? What are the personal moral qualities that I can use to improve the situation? Where, where there's conflicting values or principles, trying to identify what they are so that you can make a decision between in favour of the one that you most want to prioritise for that particular circumstance. And all that can be done in supervision. Um, and it's a really good use of this section.